Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, our trip back to the Spring Festival meant that we were able to make a brand new friend. Now we have all of the pets from the festivals at least, so the pet parade is truly in business. That means we have pets for each and every last one of our kittens. I know that Raven really seems to enjoy Smokey's presence, and I think that Finch would probably like uh, Ruby the most. She's actually proven herself to be very lucky, because we managed to hunt down a blue jay with her help, and Raven really, really loved uh, sampling some of the more rare items of the forest. We also finished off one of our extra rooms, and I did place some little trinkets inside that I think Finch and Starling would enjoy. But Finch, I know, loves these toads and frogs. So we're going to fill him up with these for breakfast. Oh, look at that. We actually have our third star with our kitten now, too. Oh, that's the first time that's actually happened. Time for play or time for nap? What you up to? Well, actually, I think we're going to go into our storage room to find a little bit more food for Raven, because we know that she loves all of the uh, delicious prey from the forest. So we'll give her some of these rare black bunnies, and then one extra for Scout, because he always does get a little bit jealous when we feed Raven all of his bunnies. I hope you're going to enjoy this for breakfast, little one. Oh, and I took all of our catnip out too because I would like to sell it to Ember. Wait a second. We can have her follow us now? Oh my gosh. And it looks like she has a little health bar here too. Well, first things first, let's give her the black hair. Whoa, is this for me? I want to know where you got it. Raven, she's not talking in like a baby talk anymore. Oh, she's growing up. She was the first one to open her eyes, too, so it makes sense that she would be the first one to leave the nest. Well, follow me, little raven. Yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. And she looks so much like Penny, too. This is absolutely perfect. Well, you know what, Ruby? I think we're going to have to leave you here with uh, little Finch. So we can take Raven's buddy Smokey with us today. Now the gang is all here for your very first adventure. So it looks like we can still talk to her when uh, she's traveling with us. Okay, so we can tell her to actually just return to the den. We could probably say that if we're uh, really far out and she's getting a little bit tired. That way we don't have to worry about her falling to any of our enemies. But let's just make sure that we give uh, Piper her scallop shells first. We have to make sure all of your siblings are happy too. And maybe see if any of the others are ready to go exploring as well. Unfortunately, Piper is not. Though because she's so shy, I would imagine that she might actually be one of the last. She probably wants to uh, stay in the safety of the den for as long as possible. And Starling, are you getting a little bit curious about the outside world? Not enough to join us on a journey. But Scout, you must be so excited to see our very first kitten ready to go out hunting. Yeah, I think we'll probably uh, go to the fairy wood first because I know that Raven would love to try her hand at uh, taking down some bunnies of her own. Or some little doves, because that's the best place for us to hunt down our birds. Oh my gosh, and you get to meet the forest colony for the first time too. Oh, this is adorable. Well, our first stop is actually uh, often Ember, because we like to sell all of our items off to him in his shop. He has supplied us with quite a few mews for all of our troubles. So all of these catnip plants are going to go right into his stock so we can get 90 mews. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of mews. We might as well sell off some of our extra herbs too, though we want to keep plenty on hand in case uh, Raven ends up needing them. That brings us a little bit closer to getting our extra room for you too, so I'm sure you're very happy. But hello, Ember. We have somebody for you to meet. Oh my gosh, and he's telling his jokes. He probably wants to see if a raven is going to like it. Hey Penny, what's the worst kind of cat? A catastrophe, of course. Yeah, I'm not sure if a raven is uh, the one to test all of those puns out on. Something tells me that she wouldn't be quite the jokester. Let's go to Doc 2. 
you're probably going to need to visit him quite a bit in the future. I sure am glad cats like Ember exist. Oh, I bet Doc actually really enjoys all of his jokes. They probably share all of their puns. And Missy, this is one day where you actually won't have to do any babysitting for us. Hey Penny, do you want my toad? Don't answer that, it's yours now. Oh, thank you very much. We will bring that straight over to a finch, in fact. I'm kind of surprised to see that she has toads in her inventory. Like, where do you think she's actually picking those up? I can't imagine Missy of all cats going deep into the swamplands. She would get her fur all messy and she would be so very upset. Raven seems quite a bit slower than Penny is though, so we'll have to keep that in mind. And before you scoot off a mare, we have somebody to uh, meet you. I hope everyone has enough shelter from the heat. The shade from the trees feels very nice today. Yeah, I always figured he probably enjoyed the uh, colder weather more. But it's good to know that he's watching out for all of our cats today. He's probably giving that to uh, us as advice too, to make sure Raven with her long fur and her dark coat won't end up overheating out here. Oh my gosh, but our very first bunny. Okay, Raven. Oh my goodness. What? Raven? Oh, okay, I was not expecting her to go after it that quickly. She literally jumped from like across the entire screen. Well, Raven, this should be interesting. Let's creep around and see what else we can find. A mouse might actually be a, a better thing for you to test your skills on. They're typically pretty easy to catch. There you go. Oh, you brought it right to me. That is so cute. Let's see if you can get any of these down here. We have a rabbit for you to pounce on. Oh, that one got away. Her favorite meal is a little bit too tricky for her to catch. I did notice that she's gaining experience points every time that she pounces. So that's worth noting. I guess she can level up just like Penny can. So try your hand on this mouse again. You did pretty good last time. Oh no, it got away and she's chasing it straight off the screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like she goes after butterflies, so it's just going to be the prey. Or maybe the valerian too. Can you actually pick these up for me? Let's see, are you interested in valerian? There we go. We have to kind of be right on top of it, but I guess that's uh, another good way for us to increase her experience. That being said, it doesn't really look like the bar is increasing too much, if that's what the bar underneath her health points are. Oh, and this mouse is uh, trying to alert the birds, it seems. And it looks like it may have worked, so let's try somewhere different. Have you heard of the sickness going around? I hope it stays away from me. The sickness? Okay, that's a very mysterious thing to say. Is there some sort of, like, cat illness going around the forest right now? Well, I hope we're going to be alright. Yeah, Raven doesn't really seem too interested in picking these up. I guess it's because she just wants to go out hunting. So let's go up to the fairy wood and we'll see if she can uh, try her luck at catching birds there. Because that's Penny's very favorite place to hunt. We'll pick up all of these lovely golden seals too, just in case you need a little bit of uh, extra healing. Luckily, we don't have too many battles to worry about out here because our borders are very, very secure. All right, there's a little toad. Oh no, you missed that one. And Penny might not be fast enough to chase after it. Yeah, those frogs can be pretty tricky. Let's try the one over here by the rock. And all of these lovely colorful mushrooms. Oh no, I think it saw you, little one. You gotta stay a little bit further back if you're trying to creep up on toads. Oh, and that's one of the tropical butterflies. Oh, we have to stop and get this raven. I know that uh, Lyris would really love this as a gift. And I bet your brother Starling would too. Oh, we'll have to see if we can find any extra special gifts to bring your siblings. Oh my goodness. That one was a little bit wiry. Thankfully, Penny managed to uh, scoop it up instead. But good try, Raven. I know you are trying your best. Here's another frog for you. Can you pounce on that one for us? I think she actually did. But she's a little bit confused now. She has this bird pinned down instead. Did you get the frog? Oh, 
Okay, you just like completely stunned all of these creatures with your dramatic pouncing. That's fine though, at least they're in our pockets now. So let's try one more dove, and then we'll head down to the beach to see if we can find any uh, special little shells to bring to your sister. Come on, Raven, it's fine. You can let the bird go. It looks like we have more cats of the forest watching out for us, making sure that our kittens are safe. It's so nice to see all of these guards just patrolling the area while we're out here exploring with our kitten. Yeah, she is a little bit slower than Penny, but you can understand that. It's a whole brand new big world for her to explore. She probably wants to sniff all the trees and the bushes, go pouncing after fireflies. Oh, these are always nice to bring back home for lights. You guys have seen plenty of these inside your den, so I'm sure you would like to chase after those as well. Yeah, the beach shouldn't be too far away, but I did notice that there's a battle underneath us. I mean, should we risk it? Should we see if Raven can hold her own? I would prefer if you stay back, little one. We could actually take care of most of the cats with uh, all of our fighting powers. So try not to get too close to the action, okay? Oh my gosh, she is charging straight in. Oh my goodness, this was a terrible mistake. Oh, I see her health points going way, way down. Oh, Raven. Oh, that was not good. She was absolutely raring to go. She charged straight into the thick of that battle. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe we can actually offer up some of the uh, golden seal to heal her. Yeah, heal with golden seal. Oh, excellent. One more and then you will be fully healed, okay? There we go, and now Mama Penny doesn't have to worry. Let's just grab some of those shells before we head back home. Just be uh, mindful of the water. This is probably the latest that poor little Raven has ever stayed up before. We are taking a quite the grand adventure. Oh, there we go. You found the Valerian that time. She actually saw it way off in the distance and uh, she wanted to make sure that her mother brought it home. I'm not seeing a single shell though. Really? Well, we might have to promise Piper some shells tomorrow then. Now, hopefully you will return to the den with us. Oh my goodness, because we don't want to leave you out in this awful rainstorm. You will come, right? There we go. Raven is still following and everybody else is fast asleep. So we'll let you curl up to sleep too. Will she actually sleep with a Scout and Penny? Maybe she will, because I think we'll have her join us on our adventure tomorrow, too. We still have to find that special present for her sister. So come to bed, Raven. There's still a little bit of room for you in the biggest nest in the den. Oh, okay, she must have gone back to her own bed. Yeah, no interest in sleeping with mom and dad. Hello, little one. We'll have to see if your siblings are ready to uh, go on adventures too, but you are still the one for today. So yeah, it doesn't really seem like her experience bar is increasing any, though she is definitely gaining experience, and quite a bit of it too. But we have frogs and toads to once again offer up for you, Finch, so I hope you're going to enjoy these. We have a toad from Mare, in fact, and then the frog was one that your sister pinned down herself, so you should be very, very proud of her. We have some lovely valerian for you, Starling, that Raven found all by herself too. And then the rare tropical butterfly, one of the most beautiful butterflies in all the forest. Thanks, me play with it. All right, Starling, whatever floats your boat, I guess. And Piper, don't worry, we didn't forget about you. Oh, she's all the way in the back of the den next to this lovely little firefly. I wonder if she would actually like uh, fireflies as gifts. I scare off mice if I talk too much. Oh, Piper, you're friends with the mice? Oh, that is adorable. That's another reason why I feel like she would probably enjoy, like eating the berries, foraging for herbs, making friends with the mice. Very peaceful activities in the forest. Oh, must be playtime. Can I play outside today? Well, today is not the best day for that, unfortunately, Finch, because it is raining outside, so you might not enjoy it too much. 
sing with me. I sing about pretty butterflies. Oh, the one that we caught him, that is adorable. Well, Scout, we are going out again today. We're going to see if we can find some more uh, shells to give to Piper. Do you want my extra catnip? I don't need it. Here, it's yours now. Thank you. We'll actually drop this off at Embers again because Raven knows all of our routines now. And that one is very important if we want to make her her extra room. Oh my gosh, the rain is kind of a nuisance today. It's going to be a little bit tricky for our cats to get around. I got you the salmon as a present. What do you think? Have a great day, Penny. Oh, thank you very much. We'll take that with us and we might even munch on it before we leave today because uh, Penny could use the extra food since she did get up so late. Is that you, Penny? Hard to see anything in this fog. Stay safe out there. Yeah, don't worry. We'll be keeping a very, very close eye on our little kitten to make sure that she doesn't get lost. And now let's go ahead and visit his shop again just to sell off the catnip, the fireflies, and the butterflies that we managed to catch. It may not be much, but as Raven increases in her hunting abilities, I bet she'll really be able to help us make some extra muse. Sarge is over on a different part of the territory today, guarding the borders as always. I don't know how I got along without your friendship, Penny. You're an inspiration. Oh, I can't wait until he meets Raven. She is going to love training with him. And Doc, do you happen to uh, have anything for us to take? No, but he does want us to keep an eye out for more of those marigolds. And don't worry, that is exactly what is on our mind. We know that plenty of our kittens would enjoy the uh, extra gifts. All right, now let's go say hi to Lyris before we scoot on back down toward the beach. We might even consider taking some of the uh, Valerian too so we can go a bit faster. It would be nice if we could give our kittens the Valerian. I wonder if we can. Can you feel the breeze today? It's just what I need. Feels great. Yeah, the breeze mixed with a whole bunch of rain and fog. Not exactly what I would call a, a great feeling, to be honest. But we'll use some Valerian, and then we'll scoot really fast down to the beach. Oh, poor Raven. Oh, the poor thing. I feel so bad leaving her behind. But I know she's going to catch up as soon as we get down to the next tile. And this will be a good way for us to ensure that we can still uh, get a little bit of extra work done after we do find some shells for Piper. There we go, down to the beach once more, and now we actually have shells to pick up. So is she interested in the shells? No, because those wouldn't give her experience, I guess. So she doesn't really feel the need to uh, try to scoop them up. I wonder if she can go fishing. Oh, let's see how uh, you do with the fish, little one. Right in the water. Oh my gosh. Okay, not the best luck. That was a little bit of a rough start for sure. But uh, Penny was never very good at fishing either, so you can't really blame her. She's not exactly the best teacher. The birds, on the other hand. This is where Penny shines. I wonder if we could actually, like, show her how it's done? Raven seems to just, like, go flying after the prey too fast, though. Penny can barely even react. But on the plus side, we did find those shells. So we know that your sister is going to be very happy. Now why don't we try uh, scooting off into the swamplands? We'll cross the road and then uh, show you around one of Smokey's very favorite places. He has visited the Mystic Colony with us many, many times before. Let's pounce on this guy. There we go. That's how it's done, Raven, okay? Maybe that'll help her actually catch the birds next time. There are often quite a few crows in the swamplands too. So uh, not only toads and frogs for you to pounce on. Now go ahead and try your hand at this crow. Oh, so close. So close, little raven. Maybe one of these will uh, provide more luck? Seems like that one's just a fish. Yeah, no luck with the fish just yet. Try the toad this time, okay? Can you pounce on that guy too? So very close. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that um, her rank isn't actually increasing because her experience bar isn't filling up at all. Maybe we need to like send her back to the den to rest for a little while or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll find out, though. Eventually, I'm sure her levels are going to uh, start to increase. Oh, and this is the weeping root. This is where we have found many, many different mystical things, Raven. 
We actually helped out the forest guardian here, right at this uh, trap door where one of his challenges was waiting. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, no! Don't go attacking the Mystic Cats! Inside the swamp waters too? Oh, Raven! Penny, I'm going to head back to the den for a while. I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, she just got in way over her head. And these cats are like, nah, -uh, you get out of our territory now. You have started this battle, you are going to end it. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. Oh, we have to go straight back and check on Raven. Yeah, I guess she doesn't realize that these cats are actually on our side because I'm almost positive. Yeah, we still have enough reputation with them. They shouldn't have attacked us. So Raven... Oh, you poor thing. We need to fill you up with golden seals. What kind of trouble can we get into today? Raven, you have had more than enough trouble. If you go out and find some butterflies, can you bring them back to me? They're all so different and unique. Oh, so she actually does like the butterflies too, but this is not the time for butterflies, Raven. We have to heal you desperately. That's cool. How far did you go to get this? Oh, can we not heal her like this? Okay, I think she has to actually be following me first. Sorry, I don't think I'm up for that right now. I need to recover for a while. Oh, so she has to just stay here and heal up herself. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you, Raven. Oh, I wish I could help at least speed up the process a little bit. I mean, we have all of these herbs and uh, no way to use them, unfortunately. But Finch, I mean, we did find plenty of gifts for you guys. I think you should be happy that you didn't go outside to play today. It was far, far too dangerous. At least it was a good lesson for Penny, though. Because now she knows that her kittens might not exactly be ready to go straight into uh, technically enemy territory. And she knows she needs to straighten out the rules a bit more too. Next time, Piper, we're going to just have to stick to the beaches, I think. The beaches and the forests and far, far away from any of those territory skirmishes. Actually, what might help is if we think about uh, maybe buying a new active skill. I know there was something in here for um, healing allies. Soothes the hurts of all nearby allies over time. So do you think that would work on the kittens too? I mean, I guess it's worth a try. And that would at least ensure that even if they do charge straight into a nasty battle, we'll still have a way to heal at least a couple of their wounds. We'll have to figure out which one we're going to get rid of first though. It should probably be the diplomacy skill. We won't really need to uh, use that at the moment. We could even increase it more. Oh my goodness. I wonder how high the skills can get. But we'll go ahead and equip our uh, heal allies skill. And then if it works on our kittens, we'll consider upgrading it a couple of times to make it even more powerful. Yeah, Penny has learned some really good lessons out of all of this. She has to keep a very, very close eye on her kittens. We knew that Raven was going to be trouble, but I did not think that she was going to go chasing after cats inside our own alliance. That was a shock to me. So in the next episode, we will let her rest up, and hopefully one of our other kittens will be ready to go on an adventure of their very own. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!